Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. Today I came up with another video on GMN on campus placement round 2 SQL queries which is for 5 FQ. Okay, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe, share and like my videos. If you already subscribed, please hit the like so that it motivates me to do more and more videos with you. Right, let us go into the video. This is the ratio of not subscribed and subscribed people. If you feel these videos are worthy enough, please do subscribe, share and like my videos. Right, let us go into the video. In my previous video, I have given two SQL queries. And in this video, we are going to discuss about two SQL queries. Okay, high, live, high value customers in Canada. A company maintains customer information in a table named customer. Write a query to print the IDs and names of the customers who are from Canada and whose credit limit is greater than 5 lakh ordered by increasing credit. Okay, this is the schema of customer table and output format should be you should print the output should print the customer ID and customer name, right? Because they have asked you to print right print IDs and customer names who are from Canada and whose credit limit is greater than 5 lakh. Okay. See, you have to print the customer ID and customer name of those customers who are from Canada and have credits greater than 5 lakh. Output should be in ascending order of ID. Formatted as ID followed by first you have to print ID followed by name and ID should be in ascending order. Right. This is the table, customer's table. Okay, now what you have to see, you have to see the uh, person from Canada and whose credit limit is more than 5 lakh. Okay, he is from Canada and whose uh, credit limit is 5 lakh and his name is Emily Clark. Okay, with ID 2. Okay, ID 2 and name is Emily Clark. Okay, and he is also from Canada but uh, his, uh, his credit limit is not greater than 5 lakh. So leave him. And he is from Canada, but his credit uh, limit is greater than 5 lakh. Okay, right. Now you have to print his ID and his name. 5 and Daniel Miller. Okay. And from here. Canada, but his credit limit is not greater than 5 lakh. So leave him. And uh, see here again. Canada and his credit limit is more than 5 lakh. So his ID and his name. Uh, Charles Scott. Okay. Now explanation. Only customers from Canada with credits who greater than 5 lakh are selected. MD Clark. His credit limit is 6 lakh 50 thousand. Daniel Miller with 8 lakh. And Chole Scott is 5 lakh 10 thousand when met the criteria. Okay. Okay. Until here you have understand. Right. Now how to do with the SQL query. This is the SQL query. You have to use the select statement in order to select the ID and name. Select ID name from customer table where country is Canada and credits greater than 5 lakh ordered by ID. This is this much simple. Okay, if you want have a screenshot, right? Have a screenshot, practice well. Okay, before going into the exam, practice well. And this is the another SQL query, Act 2 Backlogs. You are given two tables, student and backlogs. Write a query to return the names of all student who have at least one backlog, okay? The student should have at least one backlog or more than that, okay? You have to print those students' names. And this is the schema, ta student table and backlogs table, right? Okay, student table and backlogs table. Now, what you have to find? You have to find whether... The student has backlog or not if he has backlog is active status should be true okay see the explanation we are looking for the students who have at least one backlog means is active status should be true okay so is active status should be true okay true here true subject math and student id is what one right okay one now this student table and backlogs table has which column in common means this id and student id common okay student id one and here one so his name you have to print his name right so alice johnson okay alice johnson is his name this is the expected output now here come here is active status is false so no need to bother about this column again false no need to bother about this uh, row or this person and here, the, his 
active status is active backlog status is true in which subject programming and his uh, id number is three so it reflects over here three and what is his name clara davis okay you have to print this expected output okay you have understand i hope you got understand okay now let us see the SQL query join connects student and backlogs via student ID right I have told you student ID and ID are alike these are the same columns okay now distinct ensures each student is listed only once here you have used distinct word so this is the explanation for that okay select distinct what we are going to select as name yes name from what students table see why do you write s over here means you have given nickname for the student table for every time you cannot write student dot name student dot id right so that is why you are going to consider it as student name as its nickname s small s so select distinct as dot name from student s join you have to join both the tables in order to join you have to use join keyword join backlogs b his its nickname is b backlogs table with nickname b on what condition s dot id is equals to b dot student id where b dot is active status should be true this is the sql query i hope you got clear idea if you want have a screenshot okay if you want have a screenshot and if you feel this information as worthy please hit a like share with your friends subscribe to my channel and support thank you for supporting mindbender thank you so much